presented by HSBC Commercial Banking. That nuclear family system is gaining currency and joint family system going out of fashion is public knowledge. But mind you, this trend is not an urban phenomenon as many would like to believe. It is prevalent even in rural India. Fragmentation of land among farmers is a clear pointer to that. While in urban India the trend is common at individual level, it is even more prevalent among the family and businesses. I think too much of wealth divides the family and lack of it keeps the family together. So it would not be incorrect to say that the majority of family run businesses in the country have been split either amicably or after a bitter battle. In all this splitting exercise, what is really disturbing is that once the empire is divided, not all the breakaway fashion do well. Say for a few, many of them fall by the wayside or just about survive. Reminds me of the old saying, united we stand, divided we fall. Perhaps this old saying has had a profound impact on two promoters Radisham Agarwal and Radisham Goenka when he set up Imami some four decades ago. Take a look at Imami story and you will know how to make it big by adopting the goodness of Indian joint family system in your business. <laughs> famous raunchy item number from the box office hit Salman Khan star or Dabang shows how once a brand becomes a household name it also becomes a figure of speech in our everyday life the words are loosely used but it conveys the meaning thus you have people saying Godrej cupboard for steel cupboards or Xerox for photocopying Likewise, the brand Zanduban has become synonymous with pain reliever. Sure, the Hamadou song has made Zanduban even more famous. But the road to brand him was not exactly a cakewalk. The seed to success was sown some four decades ago when two childhood friends, Radhe Sham Agarwal and Radhe Sham Goenka, quit their high paying jobs in Birla Group companies and plunged into business from a 40 square foot office in Kolkata's Chira Bazar Street. In the year 1968, after completing our graduation, both myself and Mr. Agarwal thought that how can we meet regularly because we have already completed our studies. Then the idea of starting a business came and that's how we started a business in the year 1968. So I took 20,000 rupees from my father and we started a small cosmetics business. And our real success came in the year 1974 when we launched product under the brand name Imami and that was Imami talcum powder, vanishing cream and cold cream. And that product actually met with astounding success. That was looking like an imported talcum powder or the vanishing cream or the cold cream. That's how our success story began. Call it providence, call it destiny or business acumen. But in a very quick time, these two bodies, one soul buddies, who have over a dozen things in common, redefine the FMCG space. Imami, which in Italy means love me, was built on a push-pull marketing strategy. So at one level, the promoters launched a series of products like Boroplast, Nelvatna Cool Oil, Fair and Handsome, Sona Chandi Chavan Prash to woo customers. At another level, they roped in popular cricketers and film stars like Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan, Kareena, Mahindra Singh Dhoni and Kathak dancer Birju Maharaj to endorse their products. And I think Imami, in fact, has a range of stars that no one can match in this country. There's an array of stars. It's, uh, I'd like to rephrase MGM, Metro Golden Mayor, and we have more stars than there are in the heavens. And I think Imami has more stars than that. That's right. Since its inception, the company has had over 60 celebrities endorsing its products. What sets it apart is its strategy to use brand ambassadors to cross-sell other brands of the company. For a person, if he requires a fair and handsome for becoming fair, he may also require a fast relief for his backache or a talcum powder for to be fresh. So if Amitabh Bachchan is... Saru Khan, if Amitabh Bachchan is good for him for a fan handsome, they are also good for him for the other products as well. Besides, the management's year-to-the-ground approach has not only helped them create a new segment, 
but also saw them storming into the bastion of FMCG giants like Hindustan Unilever. So I was in a small town in Andhra. It's very interesting. I, I was in a shop and uh, interestingly I saw some uh, young guys in the age of about 18-20, about three of them. And they bought uh, Fair and Lovely. So I asked the shopkeeper that why these guys are buying a female fairness cream. So he said that from his shop, uh, he sells more uh, women's fairness cream to men than to women. And that's where I, the, I, the idea triggered, you know, that why all these men. Then we of course uh, did a uh, research. So the whole idea came from the market. And we just replicate it. So it's it's a uh, and now of course Fair and Handsome is almost a 150 crore brand. So in just five years time. And all these strategies have paid off big time. Today, Imami is the market leader in most of the categories it operates. Boroplast, Nauratna Oil, Fair and Handsome, Zandu Chavan Prash, Zandu Balm are money spinning brands. Organically, the company was growing, but with competition intensifying, it needed to expand its range of products. The big opportunity came Imami's way in 2008 when Imami acquired the 100-year-old Zandu brand from Vedya family for 726 crore rupees. Uh, from the company's point of view, uh, certainly uh, acquisitions are also a good strategy to grow. Zandu was a very, very, I would say, exciting takeover. Uh, it was a company, you know, where there were so many, lot of complications in terms of holding, etc. So certainly I wouldn't say it was a very easy takeover, but at the same time, uh, it has been a very fruitful takeover for us. These acquisitions and new launches have seen Imami beating the industry growth rate. The 1,30,000 crore rupee FMCG sector has been growing at 11%, while Imami at 22%. Little wonder for the year ended March 2011, the company has earned a net profit of 227 crore rupees on a turnover of 1,278 crore rupees. So what makes them tick? Like every person, uh, this company also has an X factor. It will be difficult to define this X factor. But if we start thinking about what make what made Imami grow like this, and uh, then the first thing which comes to my mind is the the strong basic values, the values of uh, on of humanity, the values of leadership, the values of teammanship the values of giving something to the society and uh, basically all these things together combined together makes a wonderful combination uh, and a formula which is difficult to define. Though it's a family company run by the fam members of the family it is not in that sense hierarchical too much and secondly there's a good mix that the family members interchange ideas and I think uh, you know help each other so it's a nice family in the sense that there's a, a good helpfulness so it's a joint family in the best sense of the word very often in, in real joint families you find that you know there's a lot of squibbling and this and that and the other you know but uh, here I, I find very little of that and they work well together and I think that gives them a certain strength because they can exchange ideas very informally doesn't have to be a big at a board meeting. Now oh, we will interchange ideas. It happens, as I said earlier, in the dining room. In sum, the partnership firm has now grown into a medium-sized pan in their company. It has seven manufacturing units, 31 depots in 29 states, and 3,500 distributors, pushing its products through 4.5 lakh retail outlets. Its five overseas subsidiaries cater to Indian diaspora in 65 countries. Having transformed Imami into a 3,500 crore rupee group with presence in cement, power, edible oil, biotech, real estate, retail and hospitals, the two childhood friends, Agarwal and Goenka, now in their mid-60s, are getting ready to hand over the reins to their children. On that note, we need to take a short break. When we come back, we will talk to 66-year-old Radesham Agarwal, the moving force behind Imami. Also joining us on the show will be Sandeep Uppal of HSBC to give us the banker's perspective. Welcome to the future of 
Business News. CNBC TV 18 Prime HD. A service designed to change the very landscape of business news. Inspiring you with cutting edge analysis. Carpet bombing you with 360 degree perspective. And powering your decision making. In his first business news channel in HD. CNBC TV 18 Prime HD. Australia has been very kind to me. I've, I've actually had a wonderful experience in Australia. I've been able to strive to what I've always wanted. I've always jumped off having my own restaurant. The best things about Australia, it's landscape, the people, the natural beauty. The breathtaking, almost too real to be true. The Australian people, warm, inviting, friendly, ever so magnanimous. There's so much to offer. There's so many things to see. It's fantastic.